What's up, everybody? It's all real here. And this is gonna be my channel update for, for the week. You know, I'm later for for figure out do it. Um, help time go by a little bit faster. Take my mind off this long walk I gotta take. But um, let me uh, apologize for not doing being consistent with the channel updates you know this happened a couple times but man when you feel like life got you by the balls it seems like everything else becomes irrelevant and I become so far behind in the week for a channel update that I just don't bother with making one and that's been the case for like the past yeah, like the past super weeks now you know I just I don't know like I just been best trying to at the very least stay consistent with the content you know in between my my nine to five my um you know my personal life and everything else I got going on you know I thought at the very least even though I may not do a channel update video for that week at least you guys know what it is I'm playing um you know I got several games that I'm playing right now one that I just recently finished, and a couple others that I plan on finishing with these next two days that I have off. Uh, I'm going to do some more as soon as I get home, so by the time you guys see this, I probably already started live streaming, but uh, yeah, man, it's been a very adventurous week. I watched all of EVO 2017, you know, man, I feel bad for Punk, man. Punk, he, uh... You know, that he did amazing uh, throughout all this year, and all of last year. His name out there and showing why he's the, one of the number one Street Fighter players in the world. He, to, to me, I think he is the best Street Fighter player in the United States. That's for a fact. Or he's one of the best between him and Snake Eyes. I think. I don't think he beat Snake Eyes before, did he? I don't know. I don't know. I knew he was Smug. He was Smug. He like the number one ball player uh, in the States. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, with Punk, you know, he, he, uh, he made it all the way to, to the finals at Evo and Street Fighter V. And he got beat by the Demon Taquito. And I was kind of rooting for both of them because Punk, he, like, the United States never took home first place in, I don't think, Street Fighter 4 or or in Street Fighter 5 yet. And with Tokido, he's kind of been like the underdog that's been fighting to get his way to the top for like the past couple of years. You know, it's like he always either wins, you know, third place or second place. He never won first place in, in Street Fighter. I don't think he won first place in a Street Fighter 4 tournament. But, uh, Street Fighter 5, for certain, he, uh, you know, he earned that. So, Punk, I know he gonna make it next year. Punk's as dangerous as Sonic Fox, Sonic Fox was. And like the early Mortal Kombat X days and like the late Mortal Kombat 9 days, you know. Man, that 13 and 0 is still painful to watch. It is. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know if, uh, I don't even know if, if, uh, if Perfect Legend still play. Um, if Justice still. So as I was walking home, a family member of mine had uh, had picked me up, and I didn't have to walk the rest of the way, which is good. But um, but yeah, I, um, like I said, I don't I don't think Perfect Legend even plays Mortal Kombat anymore. If he does, I don't see him streaming, or I just don't catch him. Um, I don't even know if he plays Injustice. I think he does, but I don't I don't know. Like Mortal Kombat X is kind of dead right now. It wasn't even at Evo. It's all about Injustice 2. Another round seemed like they're not even trying to make Mortal Kombat Pack 3. Um, at all. 
it seems like they're putting all the efforts in injustice too, which is kind of smart when you think about it. But but yeah, Evo was lit, man. Um, it was a crazy Smash Brothers finals. Uh, it was it was a crazy Smash Brothers four finals. I mean, uh, uh, it was this dude named I think. Uh, Solemn and another dude named Zero, and I think Zero he had uh, um, Diddy Kong, and like the other guy, I think he had uh, um. I forgot who the other guy was. Uh, who he was? An, I want to say. Um, Bayonetta. Yeah, that's who he was using. He, he was using Bayonetta, and I think like the guy who was using Bayonetta, I think his name was uh, Solemn. It just do like it was on like the last stock and like the the very last uh, match. The dude had like a hundred and one, you know, red, uh, you know, and the other guy, like he just lost his first stop and somehow Solemn had beat zero. Like he did like some type of ultimate anti-air like combo and he knocked him all the way up to the top um, and he got the win in you know, like an upset. That was just crazy, crazy. I heard that zero even had his... Like, this dude got rid of his Twitter, I guess he was, I don't know if that's what he traditionally does, like I heard some people say, or he was just, like, that upset that he didn't want to hear anybody, you know, um, talking about him or mentioning him. Because, you know, people in the fighting game community, they really like to tease. They really like to tease, but, uh, but yeah, man, it was a crazy evil, a crazy evil. Like, I think a dude that got, like, two perfects on somebody, and... Guilty Gear, um, which I'm, I'm going to talk about Arc System Works in a little bit. But yeah, it was, it was just a crazy... I don't know if anybody played Killer Instinct. I don't know if Killer Instinct was played at this year's Evo. Yeah, like, I don't remember. I think it was just Street Fighter V. I think it was Guilty Gear, Exarch, um, Injustice 2, Smash Brothers, and... What else? It was one more fight. Oh, and, uh... And, uh... The... King of the Iron Fist Tournament 7, better known as Tekken 7. Yeah, that was a good, uh, like, th those are like the five games that were featured at Evo this year. So, it was some fighting games I kind of wish they would have shown, but, you know, it was some crazy things. Um, but yeah, that was just like what I was doing, uh, just a little taste of what I was doing amongst everything else. But let's get into everything I'm doing this week and the following week in the event that I don't do another uh, channel update. So this is going to cover all this week for the rest of this week as well as all the next week. So let that count be counted for both. Um, you guys know I started uh, Darksiders War Master Edition um, which is pretty much like an HD remake of the original Darksiders game. Um, it was a bundle that was on sale on the PlayStation Network, like for those that do have the PS Plus membership. And I think I want to say it was like thirty dollars or like twenty five dollars for like three different games. Um, and I'm just uh, looking forward to whenever Dark Siders Three comes out. Um, but yeah, I'm getting started to try to catch up on the story of that. Um, I'm also still playing Akiva's Beat, which I gotta uh, jump back into and play more of that. I gotta play more Prey. Um, I'm trying to get to where I can do some online ranked matches in Tekken 7. But I may have to record the matches offline because it seems like I can't get a consistent... Um, I was waiting for Namco Bandai to... 
uh, excuse me, um, Bandai Namco, I was uh, waiting on them to fix their their online issues where it was taking forever and a day just to find a match. It seemed like they fixed it, but it's still like some buggy issues with it. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of waiting on that because I don't want to have to, you know, deal with that nonsense while I'm trying to record. And, um, but yeah, that right there and Injustice 2, I don't even think I... I did everybody's arcade mode, but I don't think I did everybody's, or I don't think I did any online rank matches in, in Injustice 2 yet. I'm still, like, I, I haven't even took, played that much of it, to be honest with you. Um, there's that, and I'm like, what else was I playing? I was playing something else as well. Oh, Life is Strange. I finished beating that game. And when I tell you that game is an emotional roller coaster, man. Like I literally that that ending, mind you, I did the good ending, quote unquote, and the bad ending. And I had played both endings. Like I went back and I redid like the choice I didn't originally do. And I seen both endings, and it was just like, man, that was that was some tough stuff, man. I mean, they really did their the job with that, man. So I gotta give a thumbs up to the creators of of uh of Life is Strange. I've heard so many good things about the game and people kept telling me to play it and I finally did and I see why, man, they weren't exaggerating. That game is amazing. So I can't wait to see what this uh this next game is all about. It takes place fifteen years before all this takes place, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what the how that plays. Um if I plug this in, uh, some of you guys know I've, I'm still um, campaigning to get new equipment. Um, definitely need a new laptop and um, like a new webcam, a new uh, camera, and things like that uh, to improve the quality of the videos and everything like that. Um, the programs that I want to run, they don't work on this laptop as well because it just can't handle it. Like the, like the laptop is old. And I need to get that taken care of. So, you know, with everything else going on, I just don't have, like, extra funds to fund getting these things. I'm trying, but I do need help. So, the GoFundMe link is in the description. It's called um, Dream Drop Break. And it's basically to help me get new equipment so that I can improve the quality of everything that I'm doing on this uh, channel and I really do need you guys help so thank you in advance to anybody who uh, has donated thus far and you know let's just keep it up man because I really do need that uh that new equipment I mean it's really urgent this laptop is on at, at like it's wits end and I'm really trying to get that equipment so you know so come on help a brother out <laughs> but seriously man like that's important um Other than that, um, there's nothing. Oh, Crash Bandicoot! Almost forgot about that. I'm getting ready to 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 beat the first Crash Bandicoot game in the Crash Bandicoot Insane trilogy, and then we're gonna move on to Crash Bandicoot 2. You know, this month of July is a very dry month. There's no new releases, so I'm glad I got Crash Bandicoot to, to, to kind of like substitute for that as well as you know like the dark siders games one and two the hd remakes and three and the hd remake um as well as everything else that i'm playing so we're definitely going to get more of that um now this is something else i want to talk about for those of you who do know um a new game was announced called dragon ball fighter z which is basically a three on three dragon ball z fighting game that is being developed by the same creators of the game Guilty Gear, which is Arc System Works. Now, this is going to be iffy because I got to be honest, I may or may not even bother with playing this game. 
and some of you guys know why. Back in, I think, 2000, I want to say 13, it was late, late 2013, um, I played through the story modes in Guilty Gear Exarch. And people requested for me to go back and play it in, in like the Japanese uh, dub, and I, I did. So I had like two different playlists, one in the English dub and one in the Japanese dub of the Guilty Gear Exile storyline. And I, I kept the commentary down to a minimum in those videos. And, you know, just enough for me to make it a transformative work, but not enough to, you know, over talk what was happening in the videos because I didn't want to do that. Um, and it was good, you know, everything was fine, wasn't no problems, but all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you know, people started telling me that people was getting copyrighted strikes, you know, copyrighted for it, so I just, you know, made an announcement, and I just took all the videos down. After that happened, I think later on that day, all of a sudden, I kept getting multiple copyright strikes for videos that weren't even on my channel by Arc System Works, and, you know, those, the, I've did all I did everything I could to get in contact with them to try to correct the issue. Um, I did tweets. I did Facebook. And anytime they did a Facebook post, I basically, you know, made a mention underneath the video about the copyright strike issue. And, um, you know, I got YouTube videos that are still up to this day about that. And, you know, I just don't want to have to deal with that nonsense from Arc System Works again. You know, and they had like a Blaze Blue tag battle game announced. Um, you know, you know some good looking games, and I, I just I don't know if I want to bother with dealing with a company that punishes you from playing for playing a game. I already told Atlas that I, I'm not. <laughs> you know, I, I messaged Atlas, um, and the one copyright strike I did have from them for, from the Persona Five playthrough, uh, the, the video did get restored, but all the other videos were already taken down already so it's just like a lost cause now so I can't really get those videos back but the one video that I got the copyright strike on it's been restored they got rid of the copyright strike originally it was uh, set to expire in September but they got rid of it you know when they responded to me it was E3 weekend so it did take a while but they did respond to me I was late to receiving the email because I didn't even look to see if I got it because I didn't think they were going to answer back but you know, they did. They got rid of the copyright strike. And so, I don't know. But the way they went about that whole Persona 5 thing is just stupid. So, I may not even bother with buying Persona 6 or whatever Persona game they decide they want to come out with later on down the line. I, I'm not dealing with that anymore. Um, unless they make an announcement that it's okay for people to, to you know, play their games and not get in trouble for them. Because I to this day, I, st I still don't know why the hell would you make a game and then announce that you can only play it up to a certain point and then you gotta stop. That is so stupid. I don't even want to think about that right now. But but yeah, Arc System works. Um, you know, I, I just don't want to deal with that nonsense anymore. You know, so I did re register for the closed beta of Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a code for it but I know I, I did register for it so hopefully I'm able to you know play like the beta and see and like just get a feel of what the game is going to be like so in the event that I don't buy the actual game I can see what I'm missing out on at least but I would rather not play the game than play it and have to worry about getting copyrighted just because I'm playing the game from a company that just you know is this being overzealous? Maybe it's YouTube being overzealous. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to deal deal with that company BS anymore. So there, as of right now, I don't think I'm gonna be playing it unless something changes where they announce that they're not gonna do any bullshit like that. I'm not looking forward to playing any Dra any Arc System Works games in the future unless something changes. So. Fingers crossed that something positive happens because it looks like some good games that I don't want to miss out on, but I will if I have to, you know. Um, let 
And yeah, man, that's everything. I talked about the GoFundMe, talked about Evo. Um, yeah, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching this piece. I plan on finishing uh, a few more games up this week, well, like before this week is over. So, you guys keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, I'll see you on my live streams. Uh, keep an eye out on my Twitter for when the live stream goes live. Because I do live stream more often. And I found like uh, I found out my settings to try to keep the live stream smooth. Seems to be working just fine. So, you know, you guys just keep an eye out for those. So, thank you guys. Peace. And uh, I'll see you guys for more gameplay this week and all through next week.